Okay. Look at that big bad boy. That is the pride of the Pacific right there, Dungeness Crab. I want to crank it up. Heating up nice, and I'm going to hit it with a little canola oil right now. This is going to be a cross between saute and fry. Okay, but if it's hot enough, the crab won't, or the meat, or whatever you're cooking, won't absorb a bunch of it. So let's look at this. Now here's the big surprise. When you get it from your fishmonger, you might find it with the cap on there, but it's all cleaned and done for you. If you're finding them live in a tank, ask your fishmonger, would you mind cleaning them and cooking them for me? And they'll most likely help you out. Kind of like how when you go and get a, a fresh lobster. So look at this, this has been clean, nice big claw meat, really sweet, tender meat inside of this. I'm gonna crack it once here. And I'm gonna give it once right through here. The body meat in this, I think, is probably the, is probably the tastiest, but uh, you know, everybody has their favorite part. Just gonna hit it with a little crack in each one of the claws. Not too much, because I don't want it to break apart. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna let a little bit of the flavor of the sauce that we're gonna make after we uh, quick fry it in this, this is gonna make the, uh, the sauce give a chance to kind of soak inside of there. Look how hot that bad boy is, ready? Here we go. Now, take it easy with this, slow it down, but after a while, you'll toss it like that. And if you don't wanna toss it like that, grab yourself a spoon and just hit it over, okay? So this is gonna hit like this for, uh, for a couple minutes until it warms up. When you get back, I'll take the soba noodles out, we'll put the salad together, and then I'll make the delicious sauce out of the black bean garlic paste. It's all gonna come together. I'll see you in a minute. Wow, check that out. Hot crab in a wok, a little bit of canola oil, and I got some Dungeness crab, and I've cracked the shells, and uh, heating it up, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this great sauce that's gonna go into it. And I've got a cold Asian noodle salad that I'm working on, and uh, we're gonna do some exploding noodles in a second, but first things first, I need to finish this. I'm gonna take that off the heat for just a second and go shopping. I need some black bean garlic paste, a little uh, hot sauce, some more sesame oil, some cilantro, believe it or not, and uh, a little Sonoma County's finest, some white wine. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, let's take this crab out of the wok. Now, this crab was already cooked when I got it. And, uh, you know, if you find the crab live, you can actually ask your fishmonger if they'll help you out and if they'll clean it for you. What I did there is just really intensely heated it up with a little bit of oil. What I'm going to do now is make a sauce that I'm going to toss it into. So a little black bean garlic paste is going to go in. And you can find this in the, uh, you know, if you have an Asian store around. Or you can also find it by uh, going into the ethnic aisle of your supermarket. Okay, so like three tablespoons of that. It's going to go hot and fast. And then I've got some, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna pull that off the heat a little bit because I don't want it to cook too fast. I'm gonna deglaze it. A little bit of hoisin sauce. There we go. And that's kind of like a, like a Chinese barbecue sauce. Pretty all purpose. It's not you know really extreme in one flavor of another. Really great to work with. I love it on fish. Put in a little bit of uh, hot sauce. You might have your favorite. So these are all gonna go together for a second. Turn that heat way back up and I'm gonna let this reduce a bit. And it's picking up a lot of that flavor of the crab that's already all the way around this wok. And to help it grab a little bit more of that flavor, a little white wine and put that around the sides. There we go. About a quarter cup of that. Okay. So we're gonna let this sit here and just kind of work together for a second. Let the flavors come, let it caramelize uh, down a bit, reduce down, look at that. And it also deglazed the pan and picked up the flavor. Okay, so that goes down, that hangs out. Okay, let's take a look at this. Look at that, it's just caramelized up. It looks like a hot syrup. Now we go back in with the crab, crank that heat back up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, I've got some cracks already in the crab, and you see that uh, in the center of the crab, it's open, but what's gonna happen is that sauce starts to make it in there. It starts to make it right in with the meat of the crab. Okay, there we go. Now, I got this hot oil, and here's what we're gonna do. 
This, watch out on this one. You might have seen it in a movie before. I'm going to drop some cellophane noodles into the oil and check out what happens. Isn't that cool? This is going to make a real nice bed for that hot crab that's done in that spicy sauce, okay? All right. These got to chill down for a second. And I'll just kind of put these around. I like edible garnish myself. When we get some of the sauce on these, uh, on these rice noodles that I fried, it's just going to be outstanding. Get to eat that in the crab. But look at this crab. Dungeness crab, kind of the pride of the Pacific out in California. We love this, and we'll do it crab boil, crab chipino, any way we can get it. And this right here, the Asian crab, is big in the uh, Chinatown in San Fran. Ah, oh, this is dynamite. Look at how good that looks. I'm going to take a little bit of this sauce and deglaze it with a little white wine just because I don't want to leave anything in the pan on this one. Oh, boy. You should smell the flavors. So what I've got in here is some, uh, some hot sauce, some white wine. We've also got a little hoisin and then a little black bean garlic paste. You can pretty much find any of those sauces in uh, the aisle, you know, the Asian aisle at your grocery store. But look at that. Okay, we'll hit this right over the top. Nice and hot. Oh, fantastic. Okay, a little garnish here with some green onions. There we go. And a little toasted sesame seed. Put it all together. All right. Okay. I got to grab a nice big piece of crab, some of the salad, and uh, because I did all this work of hitting that hot saute pan, I've got to try the crab first. Mmm, you got to get the flavor. The fresh crab, the spiciness, the black bean, the garlic all coming through, that is outstanding.